One. Hey, how are you doing? Mike Taylor from Flat Creek Baptist Church. Welcome to this time. I've got a Bible thought I want to share with you for the day. And it stirred, uh, it came about because I looked at, I saw a photograph online the other day and I thought, wow, what a peculiar photograph. Look with me at this, if you will. Here's a picture taken from, so I, I gather somewhere out in the Midwest where there's a telephone pole and apparently there's been some kind of prairie fire and it burned off the bottom of the pole. And, and so it, the, the top half of the pole is just suspended there. And it's, um, uh, it's holding the lines up and doing exactly what it was supposed to do, what it was created to do, but uh, uh, it's got no bottom to the pole and it just kind of caught my attention. I thought, how weird is that? But the Lord kind of grabbed my heart and started talking to me about what a beautiful picture of how He's designed His church, the family of God, to support one another in a time of need. And then I thought about, you know, all of us have known people from time to time have had uh, suffered some kind of severe setback in life, maybe the death of a loved one or a bad medical report come back from the doctor, and we feel like we've just been chopped off at the knees and like we don't have any uh, strength. And notice how these wires continue to hold that pole up. I thought, isn't that the way it is in the body of Christ that when we really get sucked to the jaw in life, we've got people around us to surround us and hold us up and love, love us. And I thought, what a beautiful picture because uh, especially with this pole, because, watch this, the pole was designed to support the wires. And in, in what's happening in this picture, it just completely reverses. The wires are actually holding up the top half of the pole. And that's how it is in life a lot of times. We get involved with one another by love, and we want to support and care for each other and, and hold each other up in times of needs. And then there's times when we're the ones who have the need, and God's people rally to hold us up. And so I want you to think about that if you're connected with the body of Christ, because when we come to the Lord Jesus, He doesn't mean for us to be a lone ranger. And he wants us to be part of the body of Christ. Listen to the way Paul puts it in 1 Corinthians 12 and in verse 26. He said, And if any one member suffers, all the members suffer with it. And if one member is honored, all the members rejoice with it. And now you are Christ's body and individually members of it. I want you to take that thought to heart that you are part of Christ's body. And every Lord's Day, when we have the opportunity to gather, you've got the opportunity to be a part of blessing somebody's lives, to be like those telephone lines holding somebody else. Don't miss your assignment this Sunday. We'll see you Sunday for church, okay?